In this video, I want to talk a little bit about sort of the art of interviewing and why interviewing is so important to journalists and some basics about how to conduct interviews. So let's jump in with why do we interview? Why are interviews so important in the field of journalism? Well, first of all, they're important for obtaining new information. Interviews are how we, one of the ways that we go about obtaining new information. We go out and ask people and, and, and talk to experts, talk to people who are involved in this thing. We obtain new information from them. We also then can expand on existing information. So maybe something we have, you know, a thread that we're pulling already, we can go interview people to get more information about this topic that we're, that we're looking into. So we also use this to confirm information from other sources. So a good journalist knows you don't just run with the first thing that you hear. You don't just rely on one source, whether it's a person or, or a document or whatever. You don't just run with one source. So we use interviews a lot to try and confirm information that we have from other sources so that we have that double confirmation or even more, you know, triple confirmation of something that's really sensitive so that we make sure that we have that information right and that we have, you know, more corroboration from, from just more than one person or one, one source. We also use interviews to clarify facts. Sometimes there are things that, that we may have information about but may not understand them fully um, and, or may want some different you know, understanding of that. So we use in, interviews to clarify facts, to ask people, why did you do this? Why did this happen? What happened here? I need some more information. I need some clarity on this. And so we can get that from interviews. We can also gain new perspective. We talk to different people. Of course, we know that the people see things differently. People experience the world differently. So uh, we, we, we want to be fair and, and accurate. So we talk to, to one person and then we go talk to somebody else who may be on the other side of that fence, so to speak, that may have a different perspective for us and a different viewpoint so that we can more fully understand that and so that we can report accurately all sides of an issue and, and all sides of a situation. So we, we use interviews to gain perspective. So as you can see, interviews are immensely important for a variety of reasons, and they're really crucial to, to the effectiveness of any journalist whether that's traditional journalist, digital journalist, whatever, interviews are really crucial uh, to being an effective journalist and, and excelling in that field. So some interviewing basics here, just to just real quickly throw these out. Uh, first of all, you want to prepare, prepare some more, and then prepare even more. There's no such thing as over-preparing for an interview, really. You can't do it. Um, it requires immense preparation, and so we ought to put in the time to research, to understand who we're talking to, understand as much about that issue as we can, and, and just be fully prepared. That includes, you know, coming up with some questions and things like that. And for those questions, you really kind of want to anticipate responses. Not that you want to cut the person off or try and, you know, know where they're going, but so that you can create then to have some follow-up questions in mind. If you're asking, you know, a person a question, I think they're going to answer this way, so let me, let me have some questions in the back of my mind that I can use to follow up on that. However, it's also important that we adapt and be in the moment. You never know where an interview is going to take you. So you can't be just totally, you know, hemmed in by, by the questions that you've created. You want to have a good stable of questions, a good array of questions that you can ask. But you also have to have the ability to think on your feet, adapt, and go where that interview takes you, right? It, it may not be in a straight line. Uh, it may take you down some side roads that you need to explore or want to explore, uh, which may lead to other, you know, you start pulling one thread and you're going to find others that, that need pulled. So be prepared to, be prepared in general, be prepared, uh, immensely prepared, but also be ready to adapt, be in that moment, and follow these things where they lead. Uh, quoting versus paraphrasing and all is also a very important discussion uh, for journalists. Um, it's it's important that you have a record of this, and we'll talk about this in a second. But we need to be able to quote accurately. Uh, an honest journalist is going to quote accurately, not try and put a spin on things, not try and twist things a little bit. But we need to be able to quote accurately, meaning we have the correct words and the correct phrasing and things, uh, and also we're using it in context properly. Okay. And we need to identify when we're quoting someone versus when we're, you know, not, not just paraphrasing, but when we're using information of theirs that's not a direct quotation. We want to be sure to indicate that that's not a direct quotation, that this information came from this person, but we identify through quotes. And so when you're using quotes, which, which is important because that gives direct, uh, you know, attribution to that person. Uh, and not only attribution, but assigns, um, you know, what they said to them accurately. So uh, we want to use quotations 
uh, accurately and, and use them where necessary and then identify them as such as quotations as opposed to just information that we are putting maybe in our own words that we got from that person. The last conversation here about, I mean, and the last thing about interviewing basics really is for a journalist to understand on the record versus off the record. You know, when you're on the record, you need to make that clear with, with uh, an interviewee. You know, and you do that by saying, I'd like to go on the record now. Would it be okay if I record this or whatever? You know, is this information on the record or whatever? But when they say this is off the record, then you have to, you know, it's one of those invisible ethical things that uh, when somebody says off the record, that means it's not for use in any way. Not as background, not as, you know, attributing it to an anonymous source or anything. That's It's just out of bounds. You can't use that information in your in your actual article. Now you can use it. I mean, you know it then if they say it, but you can, and you can use that to kind of try and find other sources, try and find other ways to pull that in. But if they say off the record, you cannot use that information and attribute to them, attribute it to them in any way. You can't use that information in any way, and you certainly can't attribute it to them in any way. And you also need to be common sense and use ethical uh, sense about things. You know, somebody says something offhand, and they don't they don't realize that, that you're you're really interviewing them or whatever. They they're just having a conversation. Then you need to be clear: is that something I can use? Is that is that you know an on the record comment? Uh, and, and don't just hold them to just because they didn't say off the record first. Right? Doesn't mean, if they just think they're having a conversation with a person, then you can't necessarily. We need to be ethical not only because it's the right thing to do but because you're going to burn sources that way and people aren't going to want to talk to you and you're going to lose a lot of credibility so uh, so you know that doesn't mean don't challenge them and don't go after that information but, but be very clear about on the record versus off the record that's an important distinction a couple of interviewing tips for you here um, first of all establish a rapport it's important to establish a rapport with the person you're interviewing it's important to make a connection with them on a personal level not that you have to be best friends but help them feel comfortable Help them uh, feel comfortable about talking to you. Help them feel comfortable about where they're at. And just establish a rapport with them. It's going to make the interview go much more smoothly. And it's going to help them open up a little bit and just make them feel more comfortable. So be sure that you work to establish that rapport. Uh, choose the right channel as well. And by that we mean, uh, is this going to be better as a face-to-face -face interview? Is this going to be okay as a, as a phone call that we can maybe record or a Zoom you know, call using that, some of that digital technology? Is this, is this something that can be done via email and just kind of a back and forth asynchronous email chain and things like that? Um, so, you know, interviews take all forms and we need to choose the right channel um, depending on how much access you're going to have to that person, depending on whether or not you think they're going to be open in an email exchange or is that going to be too controlled? kind of for them and you want to get them in a situation where it's more conversational or more free-flowing you really need to think about what's the right channel for this interview and what's the right method for this interview I also want to take good notes I mean this is true no matter how you're conducting this interview take notes and even if it's an email chain take notes about those emails write down your thoughts write down follow-up questions things like that we want to take good notes and and just have you know, an idea of what are they, the highlights here, what are things that I want to come back to, and what are some questions that I need to get to a little later. So be sure you're taking good notes. But even if you're taking good notes, record anyway, whenever you have a chance. And really, we should be recording all these in some way. So if it's an email chain, obviously you've got, you know, those emails that you can refer to and, and those stand as a record. But if you're talking to somebody face-to-face, -face, if you are uh, talking to them on a Zoom call or whatever, or using some sort of technology like that, or you're talking to them on the phone, you need to in some way be able to record that interview so that you not only have it as as verification and documentation of what that person actually said, but also th you can quote accurately. You can go back through and really establish uh, accurate quotes. Uh, so you can go back through and review different ideas and things that you may have missed or things that you, you're you thinking, did I hear that right or is, am I remembering that correctly? So we need to record these interviews in some way and have some definite documentation of the entire interview so that we have a full transcript there you need to stay in control of that interview first of all don't let it wander in and out and, and different things um, but but all you know the different areas that you don't want to don't reflect and things like that but but you also need to control the interview in the sense that um, uh, we need to be in control of the the final edit and things like that you can't have a person say well you know I, I don't want you to right the, after the fact you know i mean that's a conversation you can have but if it was on the record and during the interview you need to maintain control of 
of uh, what happens with that information and, and how it's used. And you need to be ethical about that. You need to take their feelings into consideration, their, their wishes into consideration. But in the end, you are in control of this interview and this information, both during the, during the interview and after. A couple more interviewing tips for you. Ask for spellings. Spellings are, are incredibly complicated, so be sure that you have an accurate account of spellings of that person's name and any other names that are that are being talked about in the interview, of locations, of, of businesses, of different things like that. Make sure that you are 100% confident and confirm for sure how to spell these things and, and really just ask them to spell these things out quite literally. Don't pretend you know something if you don't. If they're talking about something and you don't know what it is, you need to ask. Don't just you know fake it till you make it. That's not going to be helpful. You need to to say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Can you can you explain that to me, or can you tell me who that person is? I'm not familiar with them. You need to ask for clarification and don't pretend to know. Don't be prideful and and just feel like you know you're going to feel silly doing that. You've got to ask for clarification. You need to be respectful, but also don't be afraid to challenge this person. You don't want to be mean. You don't need to be nasty with them. But if they say something and you're following up and they're deflecting or whatever, or or they say something that doesn't quite you know, make sense or line up with the facts as you know them, challenge them, follow up on that and say, I'm sorry, this is, you know, doesn't match up with my understanding of how this happened or doesn't match up with, with the numbers as I, as I understand them. So can you explain that to me a little bit and how do you, or how do you justify the difference there? You know, so do it in a respectful way. Again, we're not going to be mean. That's not going to get you anywhere. Don't start yelling at them or being nasty. Be respectful, but Stand up. Don't be afraid to challenge that person when they say something that does not add up and does not line up. Okay? Don't back down on that account. And let them do the talking. You know, you're there to interview them, so ask questions, but keep your questions fairly short. And if, if you feel like, as you're preparing these, if you feel like these questions are, are too long, then break it up a little bit. Break it into a couple different questions. Break that one question into a couple different questions. But keep your questions fairly short. Keep them fairly direct. Keep them open-ended so that it gives them somewhere to go with that. But let them do the talking. The majority of the talking in an interview should obviously be from the interviewee. That's what we want. I mean, we're there to to direct them towards certain topics and to ask about certain things. But they should do the the, the just for the talking. Mean, the the majority of the talking, the vast majority of the talking. And along those same lines, don't be too quick to fill some silence that's in there. If you run into a situation where, you know, there's a little silence and it's hanging, don't be too quick to fill that. Don't let them off the hook. Sometimes people will then follow up with different information because people don't like silence any more than, than you do, probably. But don't be afraid to let that hang there for a few minutes. Not minutes, sorry. Don't be, let to, that, don't be afraid to let that hang for a few seconds and give them the opportunity to, to try and fill that silence themselves and see where they go with it. Okay? So don't necessarily jump in at the first sign of, of silence or pause if you feel like there's something more to gain from that, or if they have, you feel like they have something more that they can or, or would share if you just let them. So be aware of that. Don't feel that silence. Okay. Okay. If you have any questions about interviewing, this is just some basic information, but, but it's important to, again, be prepared, but also be adaptable and be, be, be uh, flexible in that situation and follow where the interview goes. But if you have any questions about interviewing or, or any of the other content uh, related to digital uh, journalism, please don't hesitate to contact me. Shoot me an email and I'd be happy to chat with you about it. All right. In the meantime, go find some great interviews.